Well, the lake effect snow is pretty much done north of I-96 and in really north of M6 now too in the Grand Rapids, Ottawa County area. Just a few flurries in the Georgetown Township into Jamestown Township off towards Allegan County. Everything else north of Kentwood, Grand Rapids and Holland is pretty much done for snow this evening. Allegan out towards Van Buren and Kalamazoo County. This is where we're focused for the moderate snow right now. Right along US 131 and the I-94 interchange, Kalamazoo Portage, Schoolcraft, Litchfield, uh, Texas Township as well, and up towards Paw Paw, Matawan, Lawton area, where we'll continue to see the snow. But areas north and west starting to see it end, and that end line will continue to drift off to the south. That snow has made its way into cold water. We're seeing some flurries here currently, but the grass still green. Not a lot of powder sticking as temperatures have been marginally above or just at freezing south of Grand Rapids. It's been really difficult for a lot of the snow to stick, especially considering it's not falling at a very fast or high clip. Uh, Muskegon, notice this too, lake effect clouds starting to break on the horizon. We may get some glimpses of the sun here as it begins to set this evening. Wind chill got us down to 19 in Allegan, 20 in Fremont. Feels like 24 right now in Ionia and Greenville. Headed out the door this evening, definitely need a jacket. Look at the air temperatures too. Still in the low 30s, some areas even upper 20s like Allegan. Feels like, or, or current temperature right now, 30 in Hart and Fremont, 31 in Greenville, 34 in Kalamazoo Battle Creek. There's some warm air on the horizon. This is going to move quite quickly into our region. Tomorrow will actually be the warmest day of the work week, and it's looking like our only day that will briefly get into the 40s before more cold air starts to settle in. That jet stream cutting right through the Great Lakes region here Thursday, Friday, and even into Saturday and Sunday as well. It looks like we're going to get reinforcing cold air, and it's actually going to reinforce our chances for more snow. It starts here. Uh, early tomorrow morning even. So we catch a break in the clouds here tonight. There will be one week snow chance with a clipper off to our north. That's going to be very, very short lived and don't expect any accumulations, if any, uh, with that snow. As we head into Tuesday, the day is going to be dry and there will be a few breaks in the clouds at times, but man, trend more towards a mostly cloudy day. Clouds will break up at times Tuesday night into Wednesday, but then Wednesday morning, another cold front slides through, reinforces some lake effect snow, and we're going to see some light accumulations there as we head into the middle of the week. Tomorrow, 46 degrees with the mostly cloudy skies, going to be pretty windy out of the west southwest, but because of that, a lot warmer. So we're going to see about a 15 degree jump here up into tomorrow afternoon. Should be dry with a few breaks in those clouds. Not looking at a ton of precipitation here again over the next 48 hours. I would say at best it'd be a dusting to a few tenths of an inch of snow between Tuesday and Wednesday. Thursday is our only day with some decent sunshine that's dry. We do track some morning snow chances on Saturday, but temperatures staying chilly outside of Tuesday until early.